Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in before I forget. Sadly not in the same vein as the Slipknot Classic there. Uh, but this game was developed by just two ladies in the terms of threefold gaming, published by PID Publishing and is available for a very small £6.69. So we play as a young woman in a house all alone as she scrambles to find her lover, remember all about the past as the house constantly fades in and out of timelines and jumbled stuffs. It is a very nicely written game and a very well put together game and should take us no more than 30 to 35 minutes to complete. Achievements wise, again it's very easy, about half of it is playing through the story, but all the missable achievements are all about collecting a lot of, well, collectibles. So just pay attention and if you feel like you have missed one, you can always pause it to see what you've missed and have a look at the timestamps in the comments section below as I have put every one as an individual collectible. So with that being said then, let us begin. And we're going to start off with pressing of course, new game, press begin. But just immediately as we start, press the pause button, go down into your settings, go to controls and set the sensitivity to roughly about halfway through. Uh, if you do it all the way up, it's going to obviously be too fast and all, all the way down is very, very slow. So about halfway, that should be perfect. So we begin, um, pick up your glasses, press A twice to pick up your glasses. Um, there is no sprint or anything in the game. We are literally just uh, moving with the left stick and picking up items with the uh, A button. So head down the corridor. We're going to go into the room on the right first of all. Uh, like I said, a lot of collectibles in the game, so just stay with me here. You got this. Go to the desk, pick up the first photo. This is a uh, photo one out of six. Ah, she looks like a very happy schoolgirl right there. Oh, don't we all, don't we all. Anyway, we can turn around and go back out of the room now. And we're going to go into the room on the right that has just opened up very ghostly, weirdly. Dylan? Again, a couple of things that we are going to be picking up. Dylan, Mr. Dildol. And go to the sort of uh, table by the end of the beg uh, bed. Pick up this concert program. Ah, uh, there's Mr. Dildol. He looks smoky. Smokey Biggin, turn to the right slightly and get photo 2 out of 6. There we go, and what we can do from here, every time we collect something, this it goes very slow by the way. Uh, have a look at the table, by the window, pick up the note, and there are 18 um, notes, letters, emails, and cards. They sort of act as one big collectible, if, if you get what I mean. So now we can head out of the bedroom and then do a full 360, open the door back up and then basically what's going to happen is we're going to walk into this closet, um, she's going to piss her pants so we kind of need to go to the toilet now, but we can back out of the closet, just go down the hallway to the next door on the right and this is going to happen um, a couple of the times. Um, please don't poop your pants yet, we will get there, so just keep Keep doing this for, you know, 30 seconds or so, opening the door, going in, backing yourself out, and then just going down the hallway to the next door. Don't poop him! Quick, oh please. Ah, there we go, we have made it. So now, <laughs> stick your butt down in that toilet. Oh, it was just a dream. There we go, so we didn't actually need a poop, unless we've just done it on the bed, which in that case... Unlucky. So turn around when we can, move our character, and then switch the alarm clock off to get out of bed. Oh, you better put the kettle on. I had a dream that I just crapped my pants. Turn to the left, go into the closet right here, and then look at the pillow and sit down on it. Now there are going to be four collectibles here that we can take a look at. The first one's directly in front of us, the letter. You can press Y um, to actually uh, get the subtitles up and have a look at the letter if you want. I don't think it makes too much of a difference, you'll still get the achievement anyway, but it's always more of a better safe than sorry. Have a look at the postcard then, literally to the left of that. Hawaii, oh god, there's a... Oh, what we would what we would do to be in Hawaii right now. I was going to say Kefili then, but that is completely different. Uh, so there we go, so I just double check that letter there. So on the right hand side wall, there's one at the top. Again, use the subtitles. Like I said, just just better to be safe than sorry, just in case. And then down, this will be the fourth out of four letters, or collectibles, 
in this area. So now what we can do is look all the way to the left, look at the floor and press A to stand up. Before leaving though, turn directly around again, have a look in the drawer, which is just above the pillow, and then grab the first sheet music. This one may be potentially a little bit glitchy, so I do come back and pick that up a little bit later on, uh, just in case. So always worth just in case. So we're going to head out of the bedroom now, go to the right, and we're going into the next room, directly to the right again. Have a look at the end of the wall, and you can see the glowing phone. So it's just going to... Um, Maria, sort me out then. And then when we can move, before moving on, have a look at the bottom shelf and take a look at the postcard. Maria, how does she know my name? Not as catchy as the original, to be fair. Turn directly around, sit down on the computer chair, and this is basically the first out of three music interludes. Um, so just wait here for a couple of seconds. Music will start intensifying, relaxingly so. And then... As soon as you see the press to continue button on the left bottom corner there, then you know that will ha uh, will have counted. So now we're going to look at the computer. Just quickly smash through all four emails. Ouch, my elbow. Uh, yeah, look through all four emails, and these count as collectibles as well. So make sure to read all of those four, and then we are good to go. Open the drawer right next to the computer, and then pick up the letter in here. Again, use the subtitles if you so wish. I don't on this one. Really don't think it makes a difference, but you don't want to have to play half hour out of your life again, do you? <laughs> so before leaving, have a look at this star map on the left-hand side of the bed. Now, there's a couple of these sections. All give you achievements at the end as well. We basically, it's it's a couple of minutes long. Some talking happens, and then we've just got to find certain stars, etc. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, wait, what are we finding yourself? Better not be a plug of some kind. Hmm. <laughs> not yet, I'm not. Bah. It's just a matter of time. So, guide me to this star. It's not a star, but all right. First, find Pegasus towards the bottom of the map. So then, when we can begin, we're going to go sort of... Pegasus. Never, never eat shredded wheat. So we're going to go northwest... Uh, sort of left and down until we find the word Pegasus. Sorry, I always do that with uh, northeast, south, and west because that's the only way I can remember. <laughs> because I am super intelligent, right? <laughs> so when this cutscene ends, if you go to the left, you're going to see four stars. Um, if you sort of hover in the middle of them, it'll light up. If you don't hover in the middle of them, as you can see right here, it won't light up. So, I have to just quickly nip through that again, so make sure all four of these lights are lit. And then another little cutscene is going to happen. This one? That's it! Hey, I'm getting good at this. <laughs> now count two stars up and follow along to the right. From there... I call Pegasus Upside Down Kite. It's close enough, I'm not really that good with stars, so I'll make it simple. So head straight up and we're going to see the word Andromeda next. And all I'm thinking of is Mass Effect. So we ain't going to and Andromeda because, you know, people on that... Galaxy are fudging snuff up. I on a clear night. Imagine that. Well, you must show me properly. Sonny, do you think that could be another you and me in Andromeda looking back at us? Maybe. You know, my Leela auntie used to tell me the stories of the gods and the stars, but I can't really remember them now. So that's our first achievement done then, 
And like I said, I think there are three um, stargazing sections in the game, so we'll come to that a little bit later on. For now, we're going to head out of the room. Come on, Dildol, where are you at, brother? We're going to go to the right and take a, an immediate left into the bathroom. Or sort of hover over the door until uh, Sunni starts talking again. What we can do is just back out now and go to the end of the hallway to the door after this little scene right here. It's a very pretty game, very, very beautiful, mind. Uh, apart from all the underlying dementia issues, etc. But, you know. The way the umbrella's going, <laughs> maybe I should. So, out of the cutscene we go, and a cup of tea would be very nice, actually. Uh, there's going to be a black hole here, so obviously don't go towards the black hole. That should be a given. Uh, we're going to open up the door. And if we look directly to your left on the fridge, get this. Uh, have a look at this yellow note. Uh, take a look at the subtitles. It basically says "buy peaches," and then have a look in the top cupboards right here. Open them up. Interact with the tin can. Again, subtitle if you want. But basically, that is another. That is a missable achievement. Very, very easy. We always need more peaches. Which, if you put some alcohol on them, yes, I agree. Anyway, we're going to go into the dining room now, and to the right, we're going to look at this photo. That is photo number three, I think, out of six. Or four, sorry, number four out of six. Turn directly around and go towards the back end of the room here. Open up the drawer and get the birthday card, which again counts as one of the big collectibles with letters and emails and postcards, etc. So, uh, just take a look to the right of here and we're going to find the next photo. Oh, I look very happy. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. And if we just go to the right a little bit again, <laughs> on the bottom shelf, there's going to be the next collectible card. Uh, there's also going to be plane tickets. You don't have to pick the plane tickets up, but I do anyway. Always just in case. Um, but a little, a very, very small cutscene is going to happen here. And there is a sheet of music in this box as well, so don't run off just yet after this. Breakfast in bed, Mrs. Appleby? Sounds perfect, Mr. Appleby. So when scene ends, remember not to run away. Make sure to grab this sheet music from the back there of the box. This should now be sheet music two out of four. So again, just double check if you want to. Sometimes I pick it up twice just to make sure. Then turn around, have a look at the telescope. With the right stick, uh, you need to rotate it so you're looking down the hole. Hmm. This hole smells funny. And then we've got another staircase in section. Very sorry, very, very sorry. It's a serious game, stop it. Um, so again, we're going to have a lot of dialogue and we're going to have to look for some more stars. Again, very, just goddamn beautiful. I like it. This is Taurus, the bull. Look to the east. So as soon as we gain control, what we're going to do is head east um, or right whichever way you prefer, and sort of up a little bit as well, so slightly northeast. And you can see a little golden shimmer in the sky. Follow the gold, follow the gold like a leprechaun, and then just interact with the two stars there. Again, make sure to sort of hover in the middle of them so they both light up. To find the star. And then look down and to the right very, very slightly until we have the... Um, Svaha, or the crutch, as I like to call it. Very intelligent, me. But his love was focused elsewhere. That's sad. But I suppose at least she's a beautiful star now. True. Show me another, auntie. Hmm, let's see. This time... I will show you a constellation in the west. It has three stars close together. Can you see it? No, I can't. There are too many. Don't give up so easily, Suni. This star's light has traveled so very long, just so you could see it. Would you want its journey to be wasted? How long? Thousands and thousands of years. Fine, I'll look again. So this time when we regain control, we're going to head left 
to the west and slightly north as well. So a bit northwest again, just follow the Golden Shimmer. Like a little leprechaun. Sorry, sorry Irish people, please love me. And <laughs> I'm so sorry. And we're gonna find this star right here again, hovering over the middle of it. And then what we can do is head straight up and there's gonna be three little stars in a row. And what that is going to do is unveil what is called, originally known as the Big Dipper. Oh sorry, no, this isn't the Big Dipper. This is the uh, exercise bike. Prajapati, or in again in English, exercise bike. The gods saw and wanted to punish him. They called on Rudra, the god of storms and thunder, and asked him to punish Prajapati. He shot an arrow which flew fine and true and pierced Prajapati's waist. Those three stars you see are Rudra's arrow. Oh, how do you know these stories? When I was your age, Baba took me out to show me how everything that seems to matter doesn't really matter. The stars show us how small we are. And that is the end of this stargazing scene. Again, very pretty, very, very pretty. So before we move anywhere, we're going to look directly down and just interact with the chessboard. Basically, this is going to give us the second out of three musical interludes. So wait until the relaxing music starts, and then as soon as the control, uh, press to continue, press the A button to continue comes up, then we can just move on. That counts lovely. So we're going to head towards the exit now, and what we're going to do is head back into the room on the right, And we're just going to go back into the closet here and pick up that potentially glitchy sheet music. So it may, you know, it may work absolutely perfectly for you, but it may be glitchy. That's why I picked it up just, um, just again there. So always a double check. Otherwise, we're going to head back down the hallway all the way until we head into the kitchen. And we are going to be interacting with the kettle. We're finally going to get a cheeky brown ski down us now. So head into the kitchen, kettle's on the left by the window, it's another musical interlude and this is where the achievement for that should unlock. Mmm, I like it tea. There it is. So it may take a few seconds to unlock, so don't panic. So now what we need to do as soon as this dialogue ends, we now need to interact with the radio and tune it to 106. Ah, see, like what I did there, Slipknot on the radio? Uh, yeah, I'm clever. Anyway, so when you put it to 106, it's now going to change into the funky 70s, who always thought this wallpaper was cool. Head to the back of the room, we're going to get another card. We'll be coming up to the uh, last couple of collectibles in this room, actually. So from here, we're going to head to the right, very slightly on the next table, grab the next card. Again, subtitle them if you want. Should be fine. Turn around, do not go to the door just yet. We're gonna head to the chair and we're gonna pick up this next card. Love is a beautiful thing, man. And then head to the right on the fireplace, there's the final two cards. So as long as you have been following along and hopefully it's been easy enough for you, uh, we should now be grabbing the achievement for collecting all of the collectibles. That's the letters, cards, emails, and postcards. And then with that, we can now just head towards the door and enjoy the cutscene. Groovy 70s, baby. Hey, come look at this. Where would you go if you could go back in time? If it was possible, I'd stay just here and now. You smile, Ben. Like you knew something. A marvelous secret. As soon as the cutscene's over, interact with the loneliest dinner plate in the world on the table. And we're gonna set a little place for Dildol, except he won't be here soon. Because we don't see him through the game apart from in photos. That's just in case you didn't get it, that that actually happens. 
Yep, let's make a cheeky little brownski brownski brusk. Uh, so into the kitchen, interact with the teacup, and this is basically going to be our third and final stargazing section of the game. I want to know all the stars, Leela Hunty. <laughs> we should be heading home now. No, Hunty, just one more, please. The seven rishis. I know, like life in the Mahabharata. Precisely, Sunni. The rishis were the seven sages who made the sun rise and warm us with its light. What else did they do? Well, first, the Rishi married Kritika, the Seven Sisters, and they all lived happily in the North Sky. Come on, so look north. I'm looking. So again, when we regain control, head all the way up to the north, and then slightly west, you're going to start seeing the golden shimmer and shine again. I'm going to the right, but do not go to the right. We're just going straight up. See the four stars, hover over them until they're all lit beautifully in the sky. And then what we're going to do is head to the left, which is where the final three stars are. And this is called the Big Dipper, even though to me, it's more or less the chip pan, the frying pan, chip pan, or, you know, in, in normal world, chip pan. Americans call chips crisps. Either we are backwards or Americans are backwards, I don't know. We're going to have to fight to the death on that one, just like the big Josh battle not so long ago. Fight! <laughs> so, what did he do? He was tormented by his love for the Critica and took to wandering. One day, in the forest, he met Svaha, who loved him, although he didn't know it. She disguised herself as six of the seven sisters. Did it work? Did he love her forever? Sadly, no. The Rishi thought their wives had been unfaithful and left them. Nobody was happy. Not every story can have a happy ending, Sunni. Not even for the gods. And so ends the third stargazing section. So again, open the drawer right here. We're just going to interact with this sheet music again. This is literally just a triple check in case it all messes up for me, which I don't want it to do. And I don't want it to mess up for you either. So now we're going to head out of the room, head to the right uh, until we go down the hallway and we can tune the radio in again. And basically, it's going to go from normality to I've, I've drunk too much, taken a pill, and now where the hell am I? Boom, boom, boom. But seriously, enjoy the uh, intensity of the piano music because it gets, it does get quite tense. But all we're doing is basically following the hallway. Nothing difficult about it. There's a couple of um, sort of different ways you can take, uh, but they all end up in the same bit anyway. So if I go right, you can go left and end up in the same spot anyway. Literally makes no difference. But follow on, enjoy the music, and if you can, get yourself a cheeky vodka or maybe a smarty, pretend that's a little pill or something. Because I don't condone drugs in any way. So, pop a smarty and get your groove on. And by the way, th that's not an edit there. That's <laughs> part of the game. Sort of in-game jump. Maria from the carriage I've been ringing all morning. I thought perhaps now the tour is over, we could start trying. Later, let's wait. I will be there soon. Just until my visit is over. I've traveled so, so very perfect. long, just so you could see it. Sonny, do you think that could be another you and me in a drama you smile, scene then. looking back at us? Like you knew something. A marvelous Sonny. secret. Sonny. I want to know all the stars, Leela Hunty. 
Why would you just came to my research is so we make it to this room and now we can open up the door this is basically the final room of the game F small couple of things and achievements to get here so just wait for the dialogue to end and then we're going to interact with the gramophone we always come second you didn't you were pressuring me we always said though oh, well things changed exactly you changed but you never told me Once we've interacted with that, we're going to get a few more things appear in the room now. So what we can do is just interact with the card on the uh, piano stool. And there's going to be two sheets of music actually on the piano where they should normally be. So just interact with both of them. And that is where we should unlock the achievements. That should be four out of four sheets of music we've got now. And the achievement go along with it. So from here what we could do, just turn directly around to the back wall and find the final photo. So this should be photo 6 out of 6, it's a newspaper, but it un unlocks the photo for us anyway, 6 out of 6. So um, there's nothing else to do in this room now, there's a lot of dialogue that's going to happen and then we can go out of the double doors right here. Wasn't your career that would get put on hold? I stopped touring! What did you want me to do? I don't know, Dylan, but what I do counts. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I didn't mean that. Wait, Dylan, wait. wait! wanted us to slow down and start a family. I was happy to be just us and our careers. But I kept forgetting things. I... Damn! She just burnt Dylan to the point where he was involved in a car crash. Come on, Sunni, come on. But this is a good uh, bit of a life advice for everyone. Uh, just as we turn around here, we're going to go to the right and basically end the game. Uh, but that is a little bit of life advice for everyone. So if you're getting your ass beat on FIFA or Call of Duty or any game like that, don't go for a drive because apparently according to every TV show and game ever, you always end up in a crash. And just, that's worse than drink driving. So just, if you're going to get pissed off, just take a nap, eat, headbutt a wall or something, I don't know. Just don't drive. So we're just going to walk towards the man with the umbrella. And all we need to do then is just watch the credits. They're only about three minutes long. I have cut it down some for a little bit of time in the video. But that is where you will get your final achievement. So I am going to leave it here then, guys. So all you got to do, watch the credits. You can't skip them. But thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the game. Again, I thought it was brilliantly, brilliantly written. So well done to three full games of that. Um, if the guide did help, and we had some laughs along the way, as we always tend to do, hopefully. <laughs> Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend if it did help. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Big, big, massive shout-out to everyone who has supported me on Patreon so far. Absolutely love you guys and gals. And that is it then, guys. So, thank you again. I shall see you in the next one. Big old love, baby, baby, baby.